How to create a website on MailChimp complete tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily create a website on MailChimp, it's not that hard. So let's get started, let's click on create in the left top corner from our dashboard and we'll come to creation area and as you can see we have some options here. But what is interesting as for us so that we can create a website so let's click and as you can see we have a website option domain store and appointment so let's click on website from this page here we can easily try to manage our site so let's click and we'll come to our website it looks like this as you can see we can just simply review and publish and go to settings so let's click on review basically if you don't have a website you'll have to create and after that you'll come to this page here uh, from this page we can easily interact with all this stuff we need so let's have a quick tour in the left side we have a pages menu where we can add pages and also we can manage them on the other hand we have like styles from this page we can uh, change the color theme um, font pack and so on also we have like cookie banner which is disabled now and in the right top corner of the screen we have the preview option finish later and publish so what is interesting and i wanted to show you for the first is that we have like a styles folder and from this page we can easily change the whole website from the template basically i choose this template a little bit earlier uh, also like while creating you will do the same and we can easily change the wall color palette which is pretty cool and we can customize as for me i think this one is uh, the most suitable as for my website here so we have like orange colors blue colors like some of the red and black and if you'll click on edit page we'll come basically to editor and we can view how does it look like i think it performs pretty pretty cool so let's go back to editing uh, and uh, what is interesting on the page folder we can easily interact with pages so now we have like only one page here only home page so we can just simply click on add add page and i want to add about page about which is like pretty cool also for this template there is like contact page and a blank page we can easily start creating from scratch so let's click on about and we'll add the about page i'm going to click on add and in a few seconds everything basically is done so now we can edit it for a little we can change the name which is about yeah okay let it be set as a home page no add a navigation yes we need to add it right up here on our menu url path so let it be about search results preview yeah let it be like this social share preview now it looks like this okay let's click on save and now everything is done so now we have like about page and a home page right up here so if you'll we'll go back uh, we can simply find them right up here and in order to interact in order to customize we just simply need to click on edit page here on the pages area so let's click and we'll come to our editor so now it looks like this and what do you uh, need to know is that every single website on MailChimp divided into different sections so as you can see we have like header right up here we have this section we have the next 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 and in the bottom we have a footer with some information and some other stuff we can change the order of section so we have uh, like buttons here so we can move it down we can move it up if it's necessary we can change the layout or we can edit section also we can delete but as for me it's not that uh, important to know everybody knows what does it mean so if you we'll click on edit section uh, we'll come to this uh, properties area where we can find the layout background settings and color scheme so if you we'll click on background we can just simply change the uh, background image or we can change the color so the options we can change are pretty cool you can also change the color scheme if it's necessary like this like this so there are a lot of configurations we can use and on every single section we also have like different elements for example on this section here we have a text and we have a button so in order to interact with text we can just simply click and hover so now we can change the text let it be like hello for example and if we'll highlight it we can make it bold italic change some other properties change the alignment change it like the style of the text make it heading one or heading two 
The same way we can interact with our button, we can change the link if you'll click on this icon, place where will it link to, to some maybe page or maybe to our social media or some other stuff. We can change some other parameters, we can make change the color, change the border color, change the uh, text color, change the style and so on. So these steps basically are quite simple and in this case we can interact with every single element with this text, this one here, with this image. So if you'll click we can also make it as a link, we can replace it if it's necessary. For example we can change it to this t-shirt. Uh, we can add an alt text, so for example like uh, woman, let it be like this or we can change set the round corner so let it be like 100 and as you can see now our photo looks like this so it's pretty like easy to customize every single element and in this case we have like some simple parts like the same like uh, text and image image and text and we can also add like additional sections if it's necessary so we can uh, find the uh, place between sections and click on plus and from this page we have like some templates, intro, text, text and image, subscribe, payment, video, about and so on. So let's try to add video section for example. And we have a lot of templates like video plus text, text plus video or only video with text a little bit higher. So let it be like huge video right up here for example. And this is a way of how can we add sections the same way we can click on this video. And we can try to find, we can link it, for example, we can just find the URL in YouTube and then just add the link right up here. The same way we can interact with text and so on. So when everything is done, we can just simply click on preview to find how does it look like as for us. So it looked like this, all the changes were successfully added. We can also change the view, so every single website template is responsive as for MailChimp. So now we can just simply click on exit preview and now we are ready to save. So let's click on done. And now we can click on publish, accept terms and publish. And in a few seconds our website will be successfully published to the internet and as you can see we have the link so we can share it with our friends, customers and so on. So everybody is available to visit it. So the same way we can switch between different pages, view some pages here. So this is a way of how can we create a website on MailChimp and also we can find some information here about like subscribers, page views and so on. So this is a way yeah, how can we interact with website creation on MailChimp. Hope guys this video helped you out. If it is please leave a like, comment and subscribe and of course if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below. I wish you a very good day and see you soon. Goodbye.